rebuild anything. He can restore anything. He can do anything he wants. He is Bob Vila. Hey, Bob. Hey, good morning, Atlanta. Hi, fellas. You know, I had my dad's got that gene, the build it, fix it, make it gene, and I somehow did not get it. So uh, I, I, I could probably ask you 500 questions, but I still wouldn't be able to build anything. I can't even make a salad. Bob, have you ever had a mishap with one of those uh, air-powered nail guns? No, I, I, why do you bring that up? That's that's really not a the kind of tool that most you know do-it-yourselfers would be working with—a compressor and a, and a nail gun. Really, see, I thought. Well, see, I thought I've seen guys on your show with all kinds of. Uh, oh, totally. Air we use air tools all the time. They're professionals, so, though, Jimmy. And a lot of people who are home improvement kind of oriented and who actually do stuff like adding on a family room or putting on a second story will invest in having a compressor because it makes the job so much easier. Well, that's and what I'm asking. The technology yeah. of these of these nail guns and all the other attachments, uh, safety is really built into them, so it's not not much of a concern. Yeah, well, that's why I was asking. I figured you can't all really the things... fire it unless you really have focused and pressed down in the place where you're going. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, there are emergency room technicians all over the country that wonder, how did that thing end up there? There, yeah, What's years the, uh, ago, I remember hearing a horror story. Well, and, of course, you know, people like Tim Allen have perpetuated the myth that you can actually shoot with the things, because right. he had a, a bit once on the show where he had me on the back of a dartboard, and he pulled out his nail gun, and he was just shooting nails at me. But you must have, I mean, over the years, had, like, uh, like some maybe a razor incident, or, I mean, haven't you ever hurt yourself uh not Bob Vila. Yeah, really. Bob Vila, the guy's a pro. You know, like crazy glue, glue your fingers together with epoxy or something by accident? I just never have. I've certainly well, scraped my knuckles, and I've certainly cut myself, and I've certainly gotten splinters. I once got a little splinter in my eye. I once had a piece of uh, hardwood uh, flooring that I was cutting fly up in the air and hit me on the forehead. I mean, these are all things that happen. Okay. But I've never cut anything off. And why are we talking okay. about this? Well, well it's just, we talk just about a question, lot of random Bob. things, Bob. Yeah, we uh, just, you know, interesting. Hey, what what's the biggest thing that people at home often try, they think they can't do, but they probably can do? What's the biggest fix it thing that people, there's a misconception, man, that's hard, no way, forget it. That is really not that hard. Oh, doing something like installing a ceiling fan or changing a light fixture or, you know, updating your kitchen cabinets by changing all the, the handles and the drawer fronts or, or painting a room. There's so many different home improvement things that people will say, oh, I couldn't do that. I, I, I don't know how to get started. But in fact, if you pay attention and you devote the right amount of time, you can be very successful. Now... Uh, aren't there a lot of things that, let's say, and I, I hope this question's okay, uh, aren't there a lot of things that people try to do because they think they're going to save money, but in reality, it probably is not much more expensive to get a professional to do it? Yeah. I don't, uh, don't agree with you. I think that sure. in general, <laughs> almost anything that you try to do on your own, whether it's painting the bathroom or changing a light fixture, if you pay attention and you take the safety precautions and you do it yourself, you're going to save yourself money. But now, if you don't have the time, yeah. that's that's a different deal. Right. And it's also the kind of thing where if if you can afford it and you'd rather spend the time playing golf or, or going to the fishing with your kid or whatever, then those are choices that you have to make, which are really, I think, reasonable choices. Of all the different areas, like, elect, let, let's say, you know, electrical or plumbing or mm -hmm. tiling, all that, what is the most complicated? Well, two, plumbing three, can be four. the most complicated. Uh-huh. Uh, depending on what you're doing. And, and the health of the family is very closely tied to the success of a plumbing experience. Right. You want to make sure, you know, sewer gases aren't getting into the room or whatever. So I would say that plumbing projects, you have to be very careful and make sure that, you, that you're doing it correctly. And, of course, electrical work, um, electricity can kill. So yeah. I very often advise people to stay away from doing projects that involve uh, reworking the electrical system. Man, I don't know about you. Like, when I go to change, like, a fixture, I, I call the power company to see if the entire zip code can be ch shut down. <laughs> I, I'm so terrified of that, you know? Yeah. That's, uh, I think that's, it's just like trying to fix the uh, garbage disposal. You want to shut down the whole neighborhood. Just That's frustrating, can, isn't you know, it? Yeah, very We're much talking so. about Vila. You know, my dad, like I said, is a big fix-it guy. Is there something out right now? What's the hot new tool? Oh, yeah. The cordless revolution is really the cool thing in the last few years. You can get, I mean, I sent you some mini drivers, these little uh, cordless screwdrivers. Did you get them? No. no. Oh, come on. Ask your producer. I am the producer. You're the producer. <laughs> you didn't get a red and a blue cordless mini driver from Craftsman? 
No. no, we haven't seen any tools come in because I would have already taken that and we, wrapped it up. We, and we've never, that. we've yeah, never I even, happens. we've well, never even interviewed Benny Driver. But I'll put a check mark by Atlanta. No yeah. tools in Atlanta. You know what? Is it a FedEx? Yeah, it probably was FedEx. Hey, Rich, go get that FedEx on the go desk. see, go but, see if Mini. No, dri- seriously, there is one sitting in there. Really? In the, in the uh, in that letter stack thing. See if Mini drivers anywhere around. Yeah, my little yeah. notes here say that this uh, cordless Mini driver is under twenty dollars. Wow. Yeah, it's nineteen ninety five, and it's wow. a great little gift idea, even for cool. for kids or or for a grandma, even to have something that if you have to tighten a drawer handle or or change something, you can do it yourself. But I was saying that the cordless tool revolution is is the 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 area of tools that I would say are the the best for for serious gifts. I mean, you can get an 18 volt cordless drill that is about 150 bucks. That that is really a fantastic gift. They even have power saws now that are battery operated. You know what? We just opened up the FedEx, and by golly, we've got our mini driver. I just walked in the door. But it's my, weird. It's my a, day is made. It's a mini driver doll. So oh. I think they somehow they got confused. No, it's yeah, yeah. yeah that's a, that's a, that is a great gift. Actually, everybody could use one of those. It has sure. little uh, different attachments on it. And, now, do you have your own line of products? No. Okay. I mean, I didn't know. You should. Maybe, he you sears. Know. Come on. I, I would, should. Don't you think so? I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. <laughs> Give me some other. Yeah, no, uh, we've talked about branding a number of different uh, different items, and certainly in the tool category, there there's room for kind of some special items, I guess. Do you have you have books and stuff out? I and mean, give me some other gift ideas for Barnes and Jimmy, since they seem huh? to be complete I don't idiots. Want tools. I like uh, Bob Vila's Guide to Remodeling Your Home is something that could be very helpful to these guys, mm-hmm. and that's on the shelves on the on the bookstore shelves. And uh, again, in the tool category area, tool storage is always a good idea. And there's a big, uh, big toolbox you can get them that's only fifty bucks. It's not one of the big, huge red rolling things. It's a beautiful gray toolbox that actually has wheels and a telescoping handle. It'll hold up to about seventy-five pounds of tools, and and you, when it's closed, you can use it as a step or you can use it as a little workbench. Yeah, my my parents once told me that one of the best gifts you can get in a newlywed couple is a, is a, a completely yeah. full toolbox. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a, good a very good gift. Start them off with a tape measure and a hammer and a, little, a couple of saws and wrenches and pliers and things like that. You know, you can put something together for a hundred or two hundred dollars that is something that's forever. Right. But uh, do you like uh, the TV show uh, Home Improvement, Bob Vila? Well, you know, it's off the air now. It's only in reruns. Well, yeah, it's I mean, on every night, you know, though. But I mean, nation, yeah. You know. Yeah, I was never offended by it. I was the the uh, the resident uh, nemesis for Tim. I was his enemy. Right. Yeah. And I was on the show as his guest star three or four times. And then, you know, they, they, they were always playing tricks with my character, turning me into a jack-o'-lantern or whatever. <laughs> yeah, all right. And I, it, was, it was great. You know what was interesting about being on that show is that it brought a whole new audience to me of like 8 to 10 to 12-year-old kids who are now 20-year-olds. Yeah, and who and are watching away. Show. yeah, they would have exactly. never heard of Bob Bila and Bob Bila's home again. Absolutely, if they hadn't kind of hooked into the Tim Allen bit and and the, the whole you know funny stuff that we were doing, and then they later discovered that oh, there really is a Bob Bila show called Home Again, and it's you know it's on Saturday mornings, and they really are seriously fixing up houses. It's not a comedy, so that was one of the great gifts that that uh, that I got from Tim. Well, Bob, you're only on 30 hours a week on TV, so it's kind of hard to miss 24, you. 24, 24. Oh, is it 24? I'm sorry. Yeah. I gave yeah. you some bonus hours. Everywhere. Uh, right. Is there a tool that you still don't have in your in your home toolbox that you're dying to Come get? Come on. Well, you don't look at it that way. It's, it's a question of, is there a new tool? Like, what new tool does Bob Vila want? I need a new portable table saw. And I'm probably going to get one this month. Oh, good. Have I you hope ever had Santa a, brings it for you. You ever had a big historical building or something that we would know they came to Bob Vila and said, only Bob Vila can fix it? Well, for my 10th anniversary of Home Again, we restored the Virginia Governor's Mansion. That would count. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And that was like a $5 million, 200-year-old classic federal house that hadn't really been properly redone in, in, well, it never had been totally restored. So we did a whole series on, on the restoration of that. Very cool. Bob, thank you very much. We'll look for your stuff at Get the Sears Craftsman Mini Driver. Thanks, Bob. Okay, let's take another call. Hello, Metropolis. Uh, I was listening to Bob Vila. Yeah. That guy needs to get the chip off his shoulder. I mean, was he a tool or what? He needs to sand. <laughs> he needs to sand it off. No pun intended. But what a total! I mean, what's what his deal? He was totally uptight about like. Uh, I disagree you? with that, and I've never hurt myself. 
Yeah. Give me a break. Lighten up. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was the other thing that he's never heard himself like. How dare you ask that question? Like that was a completely preposterous question <laughs> that, that the <laughs> well, guy's never... you got to remove the halo before you can get something in your eye, you know? <laughs> Uh, I mean, very good. That's serious. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to tell you guys. I know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, bye-bye. he's not a surgeon, dude. You're like, you know, you're <laughs> exactly. You know, you're the tool you're guy. Like, you're, you're the fix-it man. You're a glorified shop teacher.